There has been too much political interference in Proton strategy, management, including our personnel and business model. We saw the results of that early this year. A manufacturer which should be a source of national pride was facing a very difficult situation. The government stepped in again. We stepped in to protect Malaysian jobs, to protect Malaysian families who rely on Proton, and to ensure the future success of Proton. We stepped in because the well-being of the people is always our first concern. We will never fail to support Malaysian workers and Malaysian suppliers. We will always fight to ensure that no one is left behind. Now I'm pleased to say there has been significant changes at the top levels of Proton. Tun Mahathir's era of political interference has come to an end. Now it is time for lessons to be learned and for serious measures and reforms to be put in place for the company to get back on track and realize its potential once again. This starts with assistance provided by the government, being conditional on Proton, meeting stringent standards of professional management going forward, ensuring that the company has a model for long-term sustainability and immediately identifying a strategic foreign partner. The loan was not a blank check. The company must prove itself, both in the domestic and the international markets. Ultimately, Proton must build up a strong export program and become less reliant on Malaysian buyers. The government is more than willing to work hand in hand with the private sector to promote enterprise, development and the growth of Malaysian businesses. But if the government supports industries and companies, there have to be results. We cannot put the people's money into ventures that cannot support themselves. So we want, and we all want, we want Proton to succeed again.